I has in I has iPad 2 jailbreak and I is ready to roll. Now now that I'm done talking with the Z at the end of everything, hey guys, it's Matt from Ultimate City Source, and today I have a tweak kind of video for you guys. Now this was requested this was requested, I'm sorry, by Jailbreak Jake. Uh his channel will be in the description below. He did request this video, so I gotta try to find his channel and everything. I'll make sure it's down there. If you wanna see it. Um now he requested that I do my favorite tweaks for iPad 2. And this does apply for iPad 1 too, but I think the iPad 2 just being fresh off the jailbreak, and it's what I have to show you guys. So let's just show you guys how we do it up, Ultimate City Source style. Okay, so these are a few of my favorite tweaks. Um, many of them paid, many of them are free. It's all a split balance. Now, obviously, not much is on my iPad right now, as I just restored it about, a, about 30 minutes ago, and I wanted to get this video out, and with multiple reshoots of this video. It, it, it didn't really make sense to try to put all them on. Anyways, let's just show you guys. Let's start in the jailbreak folder. Okay, we're just going to go in order. First tweak being, or first app slash tweak being iFile. Now, iFile is a great app that if for some reason you've never heard of it, it's like SSH uh, mobile is what I like to call for it. Uh, it allows you to do everything of SSH pretty much on the device. So you can see I can go right now to like my springboard folder. You can see I can just browse everything I want. Look at images. Kind of cool just to look at system images. Oh no, my battery's dying. Like that. Okay. Anyways, very cool app. It's a paid app. I believe $4.99 in Cydia. Um, very good purchase, I feel like. Definitely go check that out. And yes, I know someone's going to comment saying, oh, there's some other way to get it for free. I'm not allowed to show you that, so you're on your own. Or go find some other YouTuber for that. But I can't show you guys that. I'm sorry. Okay. Moving on. Oh. Whoops. Moving on. The next app is Multi Cleaner. Now, multi-cleaner is kind of going to be a two-in-one part because it will also show you another tweak I want to show you guys. Now, multi-cleaner, if I open it up, if I rotate it, okay, or I can't rotate this one, so let me just rotate the screen back. You can see it allows you to quit multiple apps at once, so I can quit whatever I want. I actually can't show you this right now because it will quit Screen Splitter, which I'm using to show you guys on iDemo on my computer. But with a quick trigger, like mine, is a short hold of the spring, or the right here, it's a short, you can see it's already assigned. Short hold of the home button allows me to quit all my apps at once. So I'll even select that for future use. But it's a very nice tweak. Definitely helps to free up RAM to help for some of these other tweaks. Ah, sorry, tongue twister right there. Now, the reason this looks different than normally is because of the next tweak. Let's just work. Or actually, you know what? Let's rotate the iPad this way again. Sorry about that, guys. So much rotating. Okay, now if I go to settings, some of you guys who use multi cleaner might know it doesn't normally look like that. Now it's because I use full force on it. Now full force is a very, very awesome free tweak that along with the paid version uh, called Retina Pad allows you to really do, well allows you to do more with your iPad than you ever thought. It allows the iPhone apps to be blown up to iPad size. Um, sometimes they are a little blurry, sometimes not as bad. Multi-cleaner completely changed the interface. So let me show you multi-cleaner without the full force tweak running on it. Now this will be a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to bother rotating it, but okay, yeah, so you can see that's what it looks like. It doesn't look the same. So if I go back in here, sorry, not going to bother rotating it, guys, real quick for you guys. Can't just select on. You can see no respring required. Go back in here. You can see it looks different now. Now, not all apps change like that, but like I know for sure the Facebook app it definitely gets blown up. Definitely much nicer like that. Uh, makes the Facebook app kind of its own official Facebook app. Very nice. Um, it's a little buggy on certain apps like Tiny Wings. I know it gets a little blurry. Or not blurry, but um, you can't actually tap the screen on Tiny Wings, which kind of defeats the purpose. But uh, definitely for sure, it's a, a free tweak worth checking out, giving it a shot. Okay, so moving on, the next tweak is vertical. So it's Dreamboard. Now, Dreamboard was a paid tweak or a paid app slash tweak before. It just recently became free, and now my iPad's gonna freeze right up on me. Oh, okay. So let me just disc or reconnect this real quick, guys. Sorry about that. The whole thing just froze. I guess the iPad 2 is too fast for it. Okay. So Dreamboard was originally a paid app slash tweak that was about $2.99. I did pay for this one. I remember it was the first thing I purchased in Cydia. And about two weeks later they made it free. Anyways. My money's lost is your money gain, right? Because it helped let him make it free. So Android is one of the free themes that comes with it. I did show a video on how to get the iPad version of Android. 
It was my last video. Go make sure you check it out. Just scroll left on the more video section. It should be right there. Um, Dreamboard is a very cool OS theme, fast switching thing. It allows very cool opportunities to become. Uh, it's very a very good platform. I think that over time we'll start to see it just take off a lot more as it starts to become more feature focused and much faster. Now, obviously, you can't forget the old stuff like Winterboard. Now, Winterboard is a classic that will always hold a spot in my heart for things like this iOS 4 HSF fix. Now, what is HSF? Right, you're wondering. That stands for Home Screen Font. Now, if you own Winterboard, you know that it normally changes the font on the home screen to the gray font. Now, you can see what HSF does, or iOS 4 HSF, is it changes it back to the normal font. So, just a very nice, simple thing. Keeps the system looking, keeps it looking as beautiful as it did the day it left the factory. Nothing big. A uh, bunch of other things. Uh, black navigation bars. Nice, but not my cup of tea um, for this. Different things, though. Obviously, you guys all know what Winterboard is if you're a jailbreaker. Next thing is Screen Splitter. You saw that when I had to reconnect this iDemo program on my computer uh, to this. This will last for wireless or USB streaming of the screen. Uh, it's kind of like Apple's mirroring display thing. It's like that, so definitely a cool free thing. iDemo actually isn't free, but Screen Splitter is. iDemo is $8. Definitely worth the money, though, I believe. I think it's still paid. But it's like 8 eight or $9. It's definitely worth the money, I think. Very good, especially if you're a YouTuber. You can see it allows quick uploads like this. So very cool thing. Moving on towards the next thing, going back into settings, would be no lock screen. Look at that one. No lock screen is a very nice thing that if I just enable it, no respring even. You can see I can just lock it and unlock it like that. There's no lock screen as the simple name implies. Looks like you can even put it on a schedule or something or whatever. It also does have an SB settings toggle, which is another nice app. You can see no lock screen allows you to toggle on and off with no or with SB settings very easily. So make sure you check out no lock screen in Cydia. Going on to the next one is boot logo. Boot logo does have to have a certain patch that I will show you at the end from Cydia, made by Ahit Snow. It came out today, and today is July 7th. So it came out July 7th, 2011, the day of the filming. It's been out for about two and a half hours now, I want to say. So definitely a nice thing that Ahit Snow released for us. Um, let's just go back out of here real quick, and I'll show you guys how to get this stuff. Okay, so let me just open up Cydia for you guys. Oh, and real quick, while well, Cydia loads, now I think I, the last tweak was something Gage's iPod I know I tweeted about earlier asking, what that tweak was called. Um, if Gage's iPod is watching this, I'll tweet him the video if he hasn't seen it by now. It's lock bar extender. Yeah, this thing. Works in any direction. Let me just rotate my iPad. And yes, I'll show you in the video, but it says that it's only 3.0 compatible. It's not. I'm on 4.3.3 right now. And I can tell you it's safely compatible on 4.3.3. So let me show you guys how to get this stuff. Okay, animate fix for iOS 4.3.3 or whatever is from I Hate Snow on the Mod My Eye repo. Very free, simple thing. Uh, just fixes the animate boot logos. Um, I personally don't use animate much, but I thought it'd be a cool thing to get on my iPad too. Since iPad 2 boots up so fast anyways. Dreamboard you can see right here, made by Andrew Liu or Wind Warrior, uh, is a free tweak now. Uh, free, it's kind of shoddy compatibility on the iPad, but it's free. That You can't really go wrong with it. You can see Full Force, which if you remember was the one that blew, uh, blew up the screen size for iPad, is made by Ryan Petriarch, Petrick, I, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. But it is a free tweak via the Big Boss repo. Make sure to go check that out. The iFile app, iOS 4 home screen text, is via the Mod My Eye repository. Now that's just a simple one that, remember, it fixed the gray font and made it the white stock font again. Going down. The Mod My Eye Lock Bar Extender is the one I just showed you guys on the lock screen. Now you can see it says iPad 3.2 only. Um, on 4.3.3, you can see it's still compatible, so don't worry about that. Multi Cleaner is the other one where it allowed you to quit everything. No lock screen via the Big Boss repo uh, is the one, obviously, as the name implies, no lock screen. Now, obviously, there are much of a little things I showed you. SB settings, I showed you. Split mail, um, I can't actually show you because I don't want to show you my emails, but it allows the mail to be split. Like the way when you tilt it, the direction it's shown on screen, but it allows you to do it going vertically too. So that's another thing. SB settings, everyone has. 
screen splitter is the one I showed you, and winterboard. So make sure you uh, tweet me, you guys, tweet, uh, either tweet me at Source or leave a comment below in the description, or not the description, in the comments. Tell me what you want to see done in the next, what's on my iPad video, or like jailbreak tweaks, um, or what you think good jailbreak uh, things are for me to try out. I definitely want to know what you guys think for jailbreak themes or tweaks for the iPad, as this is my first iPad, and it's obviously the first time I've had a jailbreak iPad. So definitely let me know if you had an old one, if you have a new one even, what good themes you found or what not for it. Uh, definitely let me know. If I find it good, I'll make a video on it and give you some credit for telling me about it. So rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.